the three key things we have to look at under the first segment that's the grammatical expressions take the lead again take the lead what do we have for the second expression the second expression says comprise of wow again comprise of can you go <laughs> through that one again comprise of and the last one is a word yeah deliver again deliver again deliver so i'm going to give the first example as i know of in our current dispensation how people use the word take the lead so under take the lead the first example is araba i don't want to be late for the program i am taking the lead am i right or wrong you're wrong wow that's incorrect then help me our viewers and listeners that's the reason we are here let's help them to understand it better what should be the right expression kwesi <laughs> <laughs> okay so the right expression should be kwesi i don't want to be late for the program i am going on ahead wow that's interesting that'll yeah. be the reaction from our viewers and listeners as well <laughs> so our viewers and listeners this is the reason can you help us with the reason if someone goes on ahead he or she leaves for a place before other people okay any example yes yeah, so an example can be my siblings have gone on ahead wow that's interesting hope you're taking notes of the various corrections you're making here our viewers and listeners out there so i'll take the second part of it right sure so the the, the expression itself the phrase take the lead is not wrong but mm -hmm. the context in which it is used, oh my God, it's just like a direct <laughs> translation, <laughs> literal one. Me the kind, kind. <laughs> yeah, me the kind. And someone will say, when when someone tells you take the lead, others will be like, then add the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> this Ghana for you. But we we proceed. So the second aspect is that if someone takes the lead, listen to the meaning of take the lead here. If someone takes the lead. He or she starts doing something before other people. So, unlike Arabes' reason, which is going on ahead, meaning the person Leaves lives for a place, place before other people, here taking the lead means you starting something ahead of others. So, my example is going to be this. Ghana took the lead in the attainment of independence in sub-Saharan Africa. So while Araba is giving us the reason this context shouldn't be take the lead, I don't want to be late for the program, I'm taking the lead. She said, I don't want to be late for the program, Kwesi. I'm going on ahead because she wants to leave for a place before me. But I'm saying Ghana took the lead, took the lead in the attainment of independence in sub-Saharan Africa because Ghana started something before others also followed. So please, you should note the difference. Mm -hmm. Let me add this. Also, a team that scores the first goal or point in a game is said to have taken the lead. So this corroborates and then confirms what's I said earlier, we will return with comprise of. Please stay tuned. You live on Penny Radio, your number one online Christian radio station. Penny Radio, hope for the hopeless. Yeah, I know others will also be asking, what will go ahead? Let's address that now before we move to comprise of. Now, go ahead means continue with something. Mm -hmm. So, go on ahead means you leaving for a place before someone. Taking the lead means you starting something before someone mm. and go ahead without a preposition on mm. meaning continue so if i see you writing and i interrupt and you ask is there any problem i'll be like what go mm. ahead it means what continue. continue so the comprise of can you give us the first example under it okay. if it's correct you would ask me you know it already but then you still <laughs> ask me so let's continue okay so the first example under it says the committee comprises of three men and two women. Kwesi, is that correct? 
with what I just read. Araba, it is incorrect. Really? Yes. Why? This is how it should go. The committee comprises three men and two women. Wow. Please, the gender activists don't come after us. It's an example. <laughs> three men and two women. Have you noticed the difference there? I took away the preposition. Others will say oh. preposition mm -hmm. of. Or if I want to bring the preposition or preposition of, I would better still exchange or substitute the comprise with consist. consist. Okay. So I can better still say the committee consists of three men and two, two women. women. This is correct. Yeah, that's correct. Can you give us a reason? Okay, so the reason is the verb comprise does not take any preposition. I just also say preposition. preposition. Okay. Because comprise has the same meaning as consists consist of. of. Thank you. So to our viewers, we don't say if you also use discuss, you don't add about. We discuss mm -hmm. and you move straight to the point. Behoves, you don't add on. This is why grammar check exists. Stay tuned. We will return with the last word under this segment, the grammatical expression. It's still grammar check with me, your grammar police, Jet Play Victor, and Winifred Wilson. On now to the last word under this segment, we have deliver. Deliver. Now, I want to put them into examples. So I'll take one and then you give us the other one. If okay. it's wrong, I would ask you to tell us. <laughs> so my first example under deliver is my sister delivered her third child yesterday. Madam Winifred, <laughs> is this right? No, it's incorrect. Wow. What should our viewers and listeners know? Okay, so they should know that the right thing is um, my sister was delivered of her third child interesting. yesterday. Interesting, interesting. Any reason? Yeah, the reason is because when someone delivers a baby yeah, exactly the person assists the woman mm -hmm, in mm -hmm, giving mm -hmm, birth mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um with the example you gave yes um it looks like i'm trying to say the woman delivered my sister delivered, delivered. herself uh -huh. but that's mm. not supposed to be that's not what it's supposed to be sorry mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when um you can use that example when you're referring to doctors doctors and nurses and midwives, midwives are the ones who deliver sure. babies but when the woman herself is delivering mm. she was delivered of of yeah good so, so that preposition or preposition of should be there should be there to give the notion that the woman wasn't the one who mm -hmm. did it herself yeah. but she was assisted to yes can we get an example there okay so um the doctor delivered a premature baby today. Wow. That means he, he was the one responsible for the action. That's it. So the woman who was being delivered of the baby had no hand in it. No. So I can't say my sister delivered her third child yesterday. No, 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 no. But my sister was, was delivered, delivered of her, her third, third child, child yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. This is how interesting it can be. This is where we is our feet of the paddle we would return with the second segment and that's the era buster and interesting times ahead mm -hmm. please stay tuned you live on penny radio your number one online christian radio station penny radio hope for the hopeless anyway we are on to our second segment on today's program it's grammar check with me, your grammar police, yet play Victor. And I'm here with Winifred Wilson. Wow, interesting. Anyway, the Error Buster is a segment that affords our viewers and listeners the opportunity to learn the correct pronunciations of English words. And for today's Error Buster, we have. We have the word C. Yes. O. Yes. R. Yes. P. Yes. And this. Can we take it again? C. Yes. O. Yes. R. Yes. P. 
P. Yes. S. Maybe for the last time. C. C. O. O. R. R. P. P. S. S. Do you know people normally confuse that word as cops? <laughs> yes. Looking at how it's spelled. Yes. Definitely. They will. Wow. So what should the correct pronunciation the be? The correct pronunciation should be call. Call. Wonderful. Yeah. So the P there is silent. silent. The S there is silent. absolutely silent. So it's call. Call. You pronounce it as if it's spelled C O R E. Call. Mm -hmm. Call. So what's the word they confuse it with? Cops. Cops. Spelled yes. C O R P S. E. And that word looks scary. <laughs> Can we get the difference, the meaning of the two words? Okay, so when we refer to the core, core without the without the e, which yes. is the c o r p s, yes, core, it refers to um, an organized group of people, yes, united by a common division. Exactly. That's the meaning of the core. Good. But when we talk about cops, so the core there, we have the army. Mm -hmm. Military men, as an yeah. example, or maybe a White House press corps, yeah. they're united by a common division. Okay. And when we talk about the cops, yes, we're referring to a dead body. Wow, <laughs> and this is what you've been saying all the time. <laughs> if you're out there listening to us, the word is core, not cops. You say cops, you mean there is an e at the end of the word, and that means a dead body. So, thank you very much for that's insight into the correct pronunciation of the word core spelled c-o-r-p-s we will go on a short break we will return with the penultimate round and that has to do with the idiomatic expression stay tuned we will be back with more welcome ladies and gentlemen boys and girls men and women to your most educative program on air live on penny radio is grammar check with me the grammar police yet play victor i'm here with my co-host winifred wilson yes and we are here to give you nothing but the best so now we have our penultimate when i say penultimate it means one before the last our penultimate segment and we have the idiomatic expression very interesting and then we have the fat is in the fire so miss araba okay so the expression means that something has happened that will cause trouble wow. or in short trouble troubles have started my god the fat is <laughs> in the fire yeah. meaning troubles have started that's it do we have an example to that effect yeah we do have an example an example here reads dad found out you lied to him the fat is in the fire now, just so you know. <laughs> so that's it with our uh, idiomatic expression. That's the third segment. Very short and very brief. Very succinct. Please stay tuned. I will return with Araba to wrap up on the show with the final segment. Please stay tuned. So to our final segment, we have the figure of speech. And for today's figure of speech, we have homo name. Mm. Homonym spelled H O M O N Y M. Homonym spelled H O M O N Y M. And Miss Araba. The meaning of homonym is a word with the same sound and spelling as another word, but with different meaning. Interesting. Yeah. So I think examples would further enhance. The understanding of our viewers and listeners okay so you have examples like um, like pen mm -hmm. or maybe book yes and when we refer to a pen we, we mean um an instrument used for writing yes or a place where animals are kept mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. see it has it has two different meaning yes but it's the same sound the same pronunciation and the same spelling wow yeah and when we also talk about book mm. yeah when we talk about book book is um as we all know, something we yes, can write on, something yes, we read. Material, that's yeah. it. And it can also mean that you're making reservations. Exactly. So booking an appointment. Booking an appointment. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. So with books too, it has um, the same pronunciation and the same spelling. Wow. But then different meaning. So, so until we come your way next week, Tuesday, God willing, 
I am yours truly, Yetle Victor, and Winifred Wilson. Bye-bye.